What's up guys? So what I'm about to say might make some of y'all sad, myself included, but I think this is going to be one of the last videos with denim. I have thoroughly enjoyed every moment of owning this truck and going from what it was when we got it to what it currently looks like now, it is absolutely crazy. This thing looks glorious. I have enjoyed the thorn birds, the rough country lift, the cow hood, the subs, seat covers, everything that we did to this truck has been an absolute pleasure, but I think we're pretty much done with it so today we're going to be fixing a couple things that i bought way back when when we got the thing and then i think we're gonna clean it up and throw it on facebook because it does more sitting than it does anything else and i don't want it to do that i want someone to get it and enjoy it and obviously free us up some cash to have some more fun with the other trucks so there's really not much more I would want to do to it. Of course, paint the cow hood would be one of those, but I don't even know if I want to go through the hassle of doing that. Um, and then other than that, only thing we would really do is just bog it until it inevitably tears up, which definitely would be fun, but I'd hate to do that as well, especially to a low mileage truck like this is, only 150,000 miles. So I think we're going to have our last bit of fun with it and then pass it on to someone else to enjoy. What's up, Rainy Girl? Yeah, we still don't know what she is, but she's definitely uh, gotten a lot bigger. Dally Wampus. Yes, we got a pool. Freaking Walmart special. 200 bucks. Highly, highly recommend. That thing has been a game changer. I'll be out here filming videos. Be about to croak over. Just dip off in there. Get right back out and be ready to roll. But with all that said, let's go ahead and pull denim up to the garage. Get started. First thing we need to replace is our hood release at some point the uh, bracket and everything broke so amazon for the win picked up a new one so let's go ahead get that plastic piece off see what we're dealing with might be a little bit fun getting this piece off without removing this bottom trim but we're gonna go ahead and pop it free try to push it forward there's a little tab down here so pick up that bottom panel and there she is slide it out the way there's our mounting bolt and a plastic bracket that broke off. So let's figure out what size fits that. This is gonna be a T40. Let's go ahead and take our new piece. Snake that guy through there. It should lock into place. Ow. Just get this little thing lined up with the groove at the bottom. Slide it into place. And find our bolt. Got a little stob at the bottom to line it up. And then the bolt up top. I'm not gonna go crazy because this is plastic. You don't wanna break it. Let's see if she works. Booyah. Let's go ahead and nagle this guy back on there. Might be a little bit more fun with this now. There we go. Get our wires out of the way. Hole up. Boom. All right, one down. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and crank the truck up and show y'all what it's doing. Get some air going, because it's freaking 100 million degrees. So as you see, there is no light indicating that we are in two-wheel drive, but I press on it, it lights up. Now, to swap the four-wheel, did it go? It did, okay. But sometimes you have to mash this in in order for it to get to go into four wheel drive or back into two wheel drive. So picked up this switch once again, Amazon special. Let's go ahead and swap it out. Hopefully that fixes our issue. Put this thing all the way down in first. Sorry about the noise. I can't really do much about that.
Now this should be as simple as pushing these tabs in with a flat head. It should pop out the front. Just like that. And then slide our new one in. Booyah. And now to insert more calming music so that you don't have to listen to the 90s GM door chime. So the other day at Talladega, Lauren was saying she couldn't get in and out of the truck, but I just checked it and I mean, it takes a little bit of open and push with your arm action, but that opens up totally fine. However, another issue that we were having was, hush, uh, the automatic door lock unlock is not working on anything, but it works with the key fob. So I know that they work, but it doesn't work on the passenger door and it doesn't work on the driver. So I'm thinking the switch panel over here on the driver's side is what sends signal to each one. And since this one is bad, which I will show y'all if I can get this thing off my daggum thumb, uh, that is the reason why it's not working on the passenger. So nothing. Windows all work. All this all, all works, but nothing with this. So. Let's go ahead and try to replace this guy and hopefully that fixes both sides. All right, to get this panel free, we should just wedge this pry tool onto the back side and pop it up. I believe that's how it goes. Hopefully we're not gonna break it. That did sound great. I ain't gonna lie, that didn't sound great. Well, it completely shattered, but <laughs> I guess that's all right. Hopefully this fixes it and this is a direct replacement because if not, uh, I guess I'm gonna cry. Good, this side's going in. That side is in. All right, we need to pry this plastic back. There she is. All right, so hopefully it works. Window, window, window window and moment of truth please no all right well that makes me think fuse so i did a little bit of research on the fuses and found out that this guy controls the windows and this controls the door locks but i swapped them and the windows still work and this does not so that's not the problem however i did forget another thing that i was going to fix was this guy it's like you got to do it with your hand if you hit it with a key fob every other door will lock but this one will not it won't force this down so um, i've got another one of these we do have to take the whole door panel apart i believe maybe we can just take this apart going back and re-watching my old video of earl and you do have to take the whole door panel down because there's actually a rivet holding this guy on if it's the original so we got to stick a pry tool in here really grit our teeth and uh get this thing to pop free there it is my gosh royal pain in the butt you got those whoop, those tabs how to press those in on earl they were a phillips head screwdriver but that looks more like a six seven eight mil right there i had two nine thirty second screws now i remember this being a gigantic pain in the butt with a huge christmas tree behind it so we don't want to break 
break it, but we want to, sure enough, fight it out of there. Oh, well, it popped out. It didn't break, but it did slip out. I guess you could just uh, lift up, and that would, uh, I guess, pop it free. But now, I think everything else is also Christmas trees stuck on here. holding the rest of the door on. That sounds horrible. But there she is. All right, so we can just ease this down. Let's see, we do not have a rivet. Good, so this has been replaced before and we can just take that screw out. Looks like this one's been replaced before, and so they uh, I just sent a self-tapper through there. So I guess that works. It makes it a little bit easier for us. We don't have to drill the rivet out and put a new one in there. So let's go ahead and get this guy free. Slide this guy forward, and then you can get in behind here and get the little arms out. Hopefully y'all can see this, but there's going to be an arm here and an arm down there with a rod to it. Just pop this one straight up like that, and then this one straight out like that she's free now one thing that is a little bit concerning this one has no resistance on it so i don't know if it's something with the cable which where the world did that go i don't even know where it went i gotta find it uh might not be fixing it with just swapping this guy out well i got everything back together and it turns out we did in fact just waste our time because that did not fix the issue so if you've had that problem on your obs be sure to drop a comment let me know what you think it is because uh, uh, that's super annoying but other than that we got everything fixed i gotta give this thing a bath but that's probably going to be about it for this video i think we might have one more with denim now that i think about it because i do want to try these on larry and the 2214s on here i think that'd be a good video seeing how they look on each other and then we can decide which setup goes with which truck so if we do sell denim we can either put these or leave these on it or we can send it off with uh, the 14 wides if these look incredible and we love them on larry so anyways hopefully y'all did enjoy this video definitely comment down below let me know like the video if you did enjoy dislike it if you didn't check out all the links in the description with that said i'll see y'all in the next video